Hey you two. Sorry uh, it's been a while since my last video. I've uh, been a little bit busy. Hi, I'm Rich from Rich Micro Tooling Technology. I just got a job recently actually. One of many but this is the one I'm going to show for right now. Um, I have a friend of mine. His name's Jeff. He owns Niagara Outdoors. More of an archery kind of store. And he had a little bit of a problem show you, with his bow press and his bow press lead screw broke on him and what we're going to do is we're going to go through the steps and we're going to replicate this it's already been pre-measured i'm not going to bore bore you with all of that two ends that we're going to be in doing today half inch diameter here 201 hole through and it's on center it's three eighths from the end down then on the other side we have a hex it's measuring across the flats at four twenty nine four thirty, which is going to lead me to a seven sixteenths hex. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it on the lathe, my little lathe here. There should be plenty to do it. We're going to bring it all to length. We're going to turn the half inch diameter. We're going to leave this here because what we're going to do is we're going to put this up in collet blocks and we're going to put it in on the mill and we're going to create the flats to size and it'll be done and ready for him to install. It's a mystery metal. I'm thinking it might be stainless or it might be like a 4140. So we're going to try another material, see if we can get a little more tensile strength on it. Maybe it'll, it'll perform for him a little bit better. So we're going to get underway and welcome aboard and so sorry for the uh time that i haven't really been able to make videos for everybody um i've had a pretty good response and i, I appreciate everyone who has subscribed to my channel and everyone who's just stopped along to see what i do it's not 100 percent machining i do some of my car repairs i do my atv i've been playing with that quite a bit so i'll tell you what Let's get started. All right, thank you. Okay, so welcome back. So what I've done now is, as a matter of fact, I don't know if you're able to see that, so we're going to put it down a little bit more. Okay, the overall length is 18 inches. I cut it to about 18 and maybe a 16th, maybe a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that off, and then we're going to start to uh, turn. So I'll give you a little bit of cutting action. This is my Harbor Freight saw. And so far it's been good for me. Just a little bit of oil. Just a little chip pan, just to keep it off the floor. All right, well, I'm going to let that cut through, and I'll get back with you in a minute. Okay, so welcome back. So, I know this is sort of an area you're probably not going to be able to see too much in. So, it's all chucked up. I'm going to face it off I'm gonna start doing my cut down it's one inch and three sixteenths from the end to where the bearing surface is gonna be and that's what we're gonna start doing first so I'm gonna start with a face off
a little bit of chatter, but I think we'll be all right with that. So there, if you'll be able to see that, get the handle out of your way. But there you go. So there now, now what we have is an inch and three sixteenths is what we get. We need to accomplish. So let's get our face bit and. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to set up some Joe blocks and we're going to catch that end, okay? Okay, so welcome back. So what I've done is I took some Joe blocks. I put them in between my stop and my carriage stop. My hard stop and my carriage stop. So I'm starting to turn this diameter down here to one half of an inch. Point zero five or zero point five. Sorry. So where are we at now? I just started kissing the thread, so we're, we have a ways to go yet. Let's take a look and see where we're at. Okay, so it's looking like we have about 50 thousands at 49 right now. my stop and just kiss it and bring it back so I've been taking 10 at a time smaller lady you really can't horse it so a little bit of liquid love or so Tom Lipton would say from Ox Tool which I happen to watch I think a very good channel uh, Adam is a very good channel Keith Fenner I could watch him all day And also Keith from Vintage Machinery. Okay, so I'm going to take five thousandths on this one. Looks like we're getting down to past the threads. So let me see where I stand as far as this is concerned. Okay, so welcome back. Alrighty. I went ahead and I did a little bit of preliminary stuff here and this is what I came up with. Okay, this is gonna be for a 7 16 nut for a 7 16 uh, wrench to fit over the end of it. So I did some math how much I take off the major diameter, which is overall through the threads, and it came out at about 430, so I rounded it up to that. It's about 85 thousandths per side. So my first measurement should be right around 515 thousandths. And then that should be for the three sides. So that'll be for this side, this side, and that side there. And then with that, after you get, you achieve those dimensions, then you take everything down to this 429 or 430. So let's get started on this. Um, I have my hex 5C collet block here. I have my stop set up. I have a three quarter inch end mill, and it's three quarter from the end to the end of the flats. So I have a three quarter end mill in there, and I'll probably end up putting it back in the lathe and just putting a nice chamfer on that bolt head afterward. I have a V block on the back side of it. It's just floating there, but just enough to support the the thread there, and. I'm getting a lot of chatter. It's probably not the best of end mills. So I'm taking about five thousandths per side. So this is going to take a little bit of wiggle. Um, I'll give you a little bit. I'm going to shut off. And then when I get the three sides cut, I'm going to come back and we're going to bring in the dimension of the overall nut to the 430. So sit back and here we go. Hey, 
welcome back everybody okay so now this is basically going to be I just wanted to get that bird off there okay so if you can see I, I know it's pretty hard I'm sorry about the view that we have one nice flat here that's going to be about our size and then you have these two elongated ones well once I flip it you're going to start to see them coming in all right so now this is where we're going to start to see real good if we're blending in on these corners so which means our stop is hitting uh, I've cut I don't know how many a lot when I was in the, in the industrial part of it and it always seemed to work well these blocks are excellent for doing work like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you through and show you how I do it, how I bring it back up to the setup. Right now we're going to take and we're going to bring our zero back up. And we should be right around the zero every time. But what we're going to do is we're going to mic over the flats now to make sure that our sizes are on. Okay, so every time I'm going to index this once around. So I want to hold it down here. And I bring it right up to my stop. And then I put my voice on. Okay, so now you're going to see we're going to start to come to this. And we're going to start to bring in our hex. Okay? So I'm going to show you how I start the cut one. And what we're going to do is, I'll probably, eh, what the hell. Let's go. Th All right, well, welcome back. Uh, yeah, make sure we're on. Yep, we're on. Okay. So far, again, this is the broken one. We've machined this. Everything's good. All of our distances are good. All of our distances are good there. What we have left to do is this hole. It's a 201, 3 8 from the end, up, and on center. So that's what we're going to do. I have it set up in my V block. I'm not too keen on drilling onto a round like that. So what I want to try to do is maybe get a block that's square up on the top where I can pick that up. And we'll see how that works. Because if you start the drill, you have somewhere for it to go. So let me think about what I'm going to do on this, and I'll be back in a minute. But that's where we stand with this. Okay, see you guys back in just a little while. Okay, so welcome back. So what I'm going to do now is I want to set up for the hole, which is a 209 through here, 3 8 250 off center, okay? So that's what we're setting up for now, and I have a little thing that I want to try here. Um, so that I'm going to put this on the shaft so that when I come in, I'm hitting a flat first. So it's not going to deviate off. So let's see how that works, alright? Wouldn't you know it. Okay, so I got to adjust for the... That should get it there. I really don't 
like to have it that far hanging out. Okay, let's see. Pardon me. Just shy. All right, let's see if I can buy a little more off that shank. B blocks are a beautiful thing. But the screw that holds them in, sometimes. All right, I'm still getting a true spin. There, I know I got it there. Okay, so we're well past center. Let's get our rod and dial because that's what I had. Kicked out there. I'm gonna zero this. Come back into it. Take out your backlash. What we we're looking for is repeatability on our zero. And there it is. Okay. So I don't know if you noticed. I, I set the dials too. To zero because you never know you could take it come up here okay so now we're at zero and we're still at the very edge okay so if you see that there we are at the zero the 200 now we're over center and we are going to take and remite that in that area. Divided by two. Two hundred and forty nine. So one, two, forty. And we'll just snug up our stops. Two forty nine. It is okay. So we're three seventy five back. We're halfway off a shaft. And now this little doohickey thing that I made here. Take it. Put it here. Okay, I will try to get this as square as possible. I'll bring you back after I do that. All right, folks. I think we have a, a wrap here on old, new. Okay. This is where it's split. So if I can roll that back here, let's see here. I know you might not be able to see the far end here, but you can see here, 
We're all good here. And orientation of the flats to the keyway. All right. And there you go. Maybe you can see that now. All right, folks. That's it. Again, don't forget if you're local from Tanawandas, Buffalo, Niagara Falls, Rochester, just remember, Niagara Outdoors. Jeff is awesome. Please stop and see him. He's in North Tonawanda. And he's well worth the, uh, the stop. He's a very, very intelligent and in tune with hunting individual. All right, folks. So well, that's going to wrap it up for me. This was a decent job. When I'm, I'm glad to get back onto the YouTube and hope to have a couple of more people come and join us. Okay? Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And remember... Make some chips.